and um, just before we do that actually let's um, just make sure that we remove the event handler for um, any key button because if if before this animation occurs a user is um, pressing the keys very quickly the slider sliding um, plugin might actually start malfunctioning because the JavaScript engine can't actually capture the um, the key events very quickly and execute them that quickly as well so before animation occurs we are actually going to go ahead and say remove any key um, event handlers on the document so we say document dot off so remove every um, listening that you're doing stop any listening that you're doing on this um, event over here and when the animation has happened so inside of that animation we're actually going to go ahead and reinsert that um, event that we just put off here so we're going to say um, let's say var original wait time um, so original wait time so document dot on key up and if you remember we have to pass enough anonymous function over here to say what it's going to do and since we already have a function to say parent i'm sorry handle document key press we're just going to have to call that so we say parent dot handle document key press and we have to pass it a e that is the event that occurred so we just come here so that it will have the access to that function okay so before we actually do this we say origin wait time we actually going to store that temporarily so we say original wait time equal to parent dot wait time all right so we have access to wait time so we'll temporarily store wait time we'll, we'll set it to um say something like 100 okay equal to 100 all right so inside after that we're actually now going to check if this variable that been passed here actually is more than one if it's not more than one we're actually not going to do an extra animation because if it is one and this animation up finishes it's going to come in here and do a check to see if there's if it's more than one to do another animation but since it is one we it's not going to do anything so we we'll say number of slides if the number of slides is more than one decrease it that is make it um one less and then recall recursively call the slide left function so we say parent dot slide left and we're going to before we actually call this function again we're going to say number of slides minus minus number of slides so that means before you pass this um function this variable here decrease its value then pass it okay so the next time for example if this was two now it's going to be one then it's passed inside of this function so the next time this um animation function gets called in the recursive call it's actually going to just um fire once and when it comes in here my it will check if number of slides is more than one and that will be false and it won't happen again so after the call here we're going to just um, restore this parent dot wait time to what was stored in origin wait time because we set it to 100 all right so we say parent dot um, <coughs> wait time equals to original wait time all right so that's fine so let's go ahead and actually do the same thing in the slide right function okay all right so we'll go in slide right where's that all right so there's a callback here so before the callback we'll say let's put off jquery's um listening on the dom for key press so we say document dot off so we say key up okay uh let me check it seems like we had a mistake yep we had a mistake over here instead of key up we did put key and yeah so it should be key up so we're removing the key up event listener so inside of here we pass in a function again and then inside of that function we are going to hook up the event listener again so we say document dot on key up and pass in an anonymous function and inside the anonymous function we um we are receiving an event for any key presses and we'll hook that up again so we say parent dot handle key press we'll pass it e okay that's done so down here we'll just say again um original 
wait time and the reason guys I'm actually declare de declaring this function up here is to avoid any JavaScript hosting um just keep visiting my blog I might I will be writing about JavaScript hosting and some issues that we're having um, about that and um, yeah so once I post that I might actually make a video of it I'm not quite sure but um, yeah so just keep checking my blog probably every few weeks or so and you will see why I am doing this it's um, actually a common problem that lots of JavaScript programmers don't know about it did haunt me um, back in the days but um, I don't want that to happen to you guys so uh, 